Alright guys, and I'm back. I, uh, <laughs> only thing I did off screen, like I said, was just sell shit, and uh, I also went and talked to the old Mad Hermit, and got him to give me the, uh, the book, so he has nothing for us anymore. Although, weirdly enough, he's offering to trade me the acorn again. Kinda weird. Also, you may notice that I still have the, um, level up thing. Uh, that's because I'm saving it for a little bit later on. So, let's go! We're going to be unlocking the, uh, final, um, uh, mage skill tree. So, yeah. The forest has not been vigilant enough. Still, you come. You are stronger than we could have anticipated. The Dalish chose well, but you do not belong here, outsider. Leave this place. You came even though we warned you not to. You are as treacherous as the Dalish. We will not allow harm to come to Witherfang. I do not believe you. I will not risk believing you. You are an intruder in our home. You come to kill, as all your kind do. We have learned this lesson well. Here, Witherfang protects us. Here we learn our names and our beloved. We will defend Witherfang and this place with our lives. Be careful now. These creatures might be more interested in, uh, oh, I don't know, surviving. I'm not gonna kill him. Jeez. Kind of annoying. Look. Kind of cool. All right, onwards. The next of the runes. Hope this one won't take forever to uh, spawn. There we go. Right, and frozen. Come on. I still remember my first battle. <laughs> Give us a little blossom over here so me and Morgana get our HP or magic back up. Although it looks like he may be getting it as well. Although he doesn't have magic because he's, you know, a warrior type. Fuck you! It's your extra frozen. Oh, he didn't he didn't burst. Fuck you. Come on. <laughs> I love it when, when uh, there's ever those uh, messy kills. Alright, got the gloves. I knew it would be easy. Finally, Zevron, you're useful! <laughs> I finally get all the memes involving him. I've seen so many freaking, um, not memes, really. Oh. We are invaded. Intruders have deceived their way into the forest's heart. Fall back to the ruins. Protect the lady! That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> leaving an old ruin? Hmm. I wonder if there are other treasures to be found here besides wolf droppings. Probably. Um, as I was saying, I've seen so many uh, comic strips of Zevron. Where we walk up to Jess, go, it, it says locked, and Zevron goes, Hey, maybe I can do it. And he just stands there. <laughs> he can't do shit. I do still really wish. <clears throat> I believe I mentioned this in my um uh Suzuka playthrough. That hi. Um that there was a way that um mages or warriors can also uh try to pick locks, but not as well as a um uh, a, a, a rope can. Sorry, I got kind of flummoxed there. 
um, like a mage can use magic somehow to uh, try to get the lock off. You know, fire to melt the lock, uh, ice to freeze it and shatter it. She like that, and then a, a warrior can try to break the lock. But whenever they try to do there's a chance of uh, destroying the things inside of it. That's more of a D&D thing, I know that much. Uh, I know a lot of D&D &D, uh, games have that. Alright. Oh, hello. Pile of boons. Don't need that. And freeze! Fuck all of you. Let's, um... No, no, no. Let's get a little wisp, so I have a little more extra oomph. Ah, I haven't sewn my wisp in quite a while. What was the name I, I called her again? Uh, did I go Navi? Or did I pick someone else? Oh, damn. I can't remember. It's been so long since I summoned my wisp. It's gonna bug the hell out of me. Um. No, Tink. I called her Tink because of, uh. Um. Uh. Neverland. It's more suiting because it's a book and Sobe loves books. I have a bad feeling. Alright, so we have a uh, Tink. Tinkerbell. Let's go! I love how it doesn't use very much um, uh, mana to use. Well, it costs quite a bit of mana to cast, but once it's cast, you can sustain it for quite a while. Stone Fist! Done? Not yet. I think I may have accidentally switched it back to easy mode. Um, I'm doing a uh, private playthrough. Uh, that way I can have a fourth character so I can get uh, one of the trophies. <clears throat> um, and I'm playing that one on casual just so I can get to the game quicker. And I think I may have, I may have uh, stuck it over to this one. Let's see. Options, yep. Gotta remember to switch that back over when I switch <laughs> from uh, my uh, private to this one. Where the hell am I? Go on. I knew it would be easy. Alright. Come on, please. I was hoping to find their chest, but okay. So, okay. So I have a map up on my uh, computer showing me the uh, layout of this place. And that is Lock Chest. All complete. It only took uh, six sets for me to get Zeron to learn how to pick a lock. Usefully, at least. Okay. Um, <clears throat> there are a type of werewolves in this dungeon that uh, like to like to go into stealth mode. So I thought. <laughs> I completely forgot about that. Ah, uh, uh, right. It's also shit. I forgot about this guy too. Watch out, Raptor! Watch out, Raptor! Straight up dragon. Freeze! There actually is a way to completely uh, bypass this battle. If you're able to stick to the side very closely, uh, the dragon won't spawn. Nope! Fuck you, dragon. Soldier's corpse. 
with the dragon. Dwarf corpse. Night corpse. I don't see anything worthwhile. And of course, I can't lose the dragon. Wait. Oh, uh, was that trap in the background popping up? <laughs> this makes me laugh. Hold on. They forgot to texture the ground here. That or it's supposed to be water. And it looks really awkward. To me, it looks like they didn't texture the ground at all. Or they forgot to. Alright, what we got over here? Dragon Horde. Potent. Nice, 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 nice. Ooh. Nice. They call. Thondin, friend of the dead and, and the guide. Uh, Fanlan Din is kind of like uh, Charon from Greek mythology. He's the person who leads the dead to the air side type deal. At least, as far, at least that's how I gathered it. What we got? Ah, we finally got the other quest starting. Do not let them overwhelm us. Hello. Bye bye. Shambling skeleton. Looks kind of like a um dark spawn to me. Fang skeleton. At least I know it's Fang. That makes a huge fucking difference. Fuck you. No, you don't, buddy. And shatter. Come on. God damn, he's sturdy. Frozen. Nope. Come on, die, you dick. The room just exploded. That. That. Does that run? I knew it would be easy. Thank you. Alrighty then. What manner of beast is this? Fuck! God damn it! Can they do that? What are you? Frozen, nice! Nate on butter, motherfucker. Always freaking freeze or catch me up a cobweb. Run away, little kid. Oh, great. Echoes of the past. Always fun. Let's see if I can get them without freezing Zevron. There we go. Damn. I will transform into a bear to kill you. Don't think I won't. You have to freeze all of them. Fuck off! Jug. Ah, uh, come on. And dead. Goodbye. Oh, come, come on. There we go. No, 
No, you don't. Thank you, guys. All right. Now we need this for the final quest for the um, uh, what's it called? The quest to get the Juggernaut armor. What if you don't have it, you can't get it. All complete. Alright. That's that. Open this door. And we get a little screen. That's always uh, that's always uh, uh, ominous. Hold on a second. Where is it? There we are. And open this door. Okay. So this is where the quest starts for the, uh... Uh, the final quest. Okay. Okay, so you need to do this very specifically or else you get attacked by dust wraiths. So... I will uh, demonstrate it, saying what you have to do, and then once we're done, I'll say it again in case you uh, miss something. All right, first, examine the fountain. Take the earth, uh, earthen jug. Fill the earthen jug with water. Leave the pool alone. Place the filled earthen jug on top of the altar. Kneel before the altar and pray. Um, examine the earthen jug and the, on the altar. Take a single sip from the earthen jug. So I have my recorder acting up. <clears throat> Take the earthen jug. Leave the altar alone. And pour the remaining water uh, from the earthen jug into the fountain. And that's what you need to do. Okay. Now, since the recorder was acting up, I'll repeat this again. Here's the process to get the final Juggernaut piece. Take the empty earthen jug from the fountain. Fill the earthen jug with water. Leave the pool alone. Place the filled earthen jug on top of the nearby altar, which is right over there. Exe uh, exe uh, no, no, not examine. Uh, kneel before the altar and pray. Examine the earthen jug of on the altar. Take a single sip of water from the earthen jug. Take the earthen jug, leave the altar alone, and dump the remaining water of the earthen jug into the fountain. And that's all I need to do. I'll give you access to this area where we get the final piece of the Juggernaut armor. Uh, notes. Let's see here. If the, rip uh, the ritual is attempted incorrectly without the tablet, the quest log will be uh, log completed but failed, and the metal door remains locked. Uh, the ward doesn't have to enter the, the Elven Barrier Temple or complete the side quest in order to reach the Wolf Lair. If for the uh, ritual co uh, correctly after an initial fail, the metal door will open, but your quest log remains logged with a failed entry. So, make sure you do it right. Alright, let's go. Do, 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 do. There are lots of coffee guy around here. Was it? Not calling you both of them. Shatter. Here we go. What the hell? Examine the sarcophagus. Go up here. Shall. 
Ah, oh, lovely. And of course I have to fight her too. Because of reasons. God damn it. I was just trying to help. Freeze! Ah, oh, god damn it, Zeron. Ow! Fucker! Let's freeze her. Heal. Come on, die, you dick. A little off to the left, damn it. And there's Jugna plate armor. That was less fun than I would have liked. <laughs> Alright. Let's heal that. Come on, please. Ah, that was annoying. <clears throat> I don't remember her attacking us though. In my other playthrough this area. A little weird. Oh well. Alright, let's get through here. We have nothing else to do here. Sorry, something stuck in the back of my throat. <coughs> ah, fuck all of you. Tired of you. Ah, oh, they freeze you. Damn it. Damn you, thing, skeletons. Alrighty then. Damn it. Something that'll been it so I could get the thing. Oh, fuck you. Frozen. Dead. God damn, so many skeletons. Just a perfect window to freeze them all. And here comes more! Lovely! God damn it! On. Are you done? Okay. Alright, uh, let's see here. The gem is warm to touch and your mind immediately begins swimming with visions, images, and memories of a life that is not your own. The presence of the gem is at first alarmed when it senses your touch, it recoils in fear, and the images that rush your mind are ones of uh, imprisonment and loneliness. Sorry, I didn't mean to frighten you. The presence calms down and then is uh, racked with indecision rather then have you leave, it begs you to stay. Okay? Where would you flood your mind? Time that the presence had spent trapped within the life gem. Time where the presence has slept, gone mad, and then slept again. Ooh. The presence has no name, but can remember you can sense, uh, you get the sense of an elf, a mage of glittering silver armor. Ooh. But this was a long time ago, remembered as if in, through a fog. Ooh. You were once a mage. You were once a silver armor. One who was a mage and warrior both. The name of the order he belongs to is translated in your mind as to Arcane Warrior. Was an Arcane Warrior. Presence of Call Little, you see images of an order of elven mages who channel their spells into their strength, fighting as Arcane Warriors to defend their charges. Presence give you knowledge, uh, give you what knowledge remains within it of how to become an Arcane Warrior. You could become one yourself, or teach the knowledge to other mages if you choose. That's all the presence has left to offer, any longer, the last of its memories. In return, the presence only asks one thing of you, Oblivion. Yes, I'll try to help you. It would become tinged with desperation. The presence cannot remember where the altar is, but it knows life gem must be placed on it. 
Redstone altar with gem. Uh, the process becomes a roll of the motion. Could the inside ever finally be over? <clears throat> uh, see, are the images sent to your mind depict a clear question? Do you still wish to learn the skills of the arcane warrior? President's ready to teach you now. Yes, give me your memories. Memories flood into your mind. They are hazy and incomplete, but enough for any mage to gather a few of the talents that the arcane warrior once possessed. So we're not an actual arcane warrior. We're a pseudo arcane warrior. Probably the um. Lowest of the level. Now, the prison asks you to keep your promise, release it from its eternal prison. Nah! <laughs> That's images of the joy of living will welcome a relief. We now have Arcane Warrior! Which is what I was waiting for. Specialization bonus, plus one dexterity and two, five to attack. Among the ancient elves, there are mages who train their magical arts to augment their magical prow martial prowess. They channel magic power through their weapon, through their weapons and bodies, becoming terrors on the battlefield. Most consider these skills lost forever, but uh, they may still linger in forgotten corners of the world. Arcane warriors may learn to use their magic score to satisfy the strength requirement to equip higher level weapons and armor. Really? That's interesting. Right. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Combat magic. Uh, sustained personal. <clears throat> While Asma is active, the Arcane Warrior channels their magic inward, trading increased fatigue for an attack bonus and the ability to use spell power to determine the combat damage. Hmm. Aura of Might and Fade Shroud improve the effects. Additionally, regardless of whether the mode is active, an arcane, war arcane warrior who has learned this spell may use magic, may use the magic attribute to satisfy the strength requirement to equip higher level. Oh, sweet! So basically, it is a passive and sustained ability. Now, my magic, which is 45, is equivalent to my strength stat when it comes to equipping new shit. For example, that's dexterity. Prior to 25 magic. Yeah, just a straight magic now. Instead of strength. That is awesome! And then we have the Spell Reaver Sword. Can I equip a staff to my square, or not? I can actually do wield! <laughs> That's awesome! Now, where is my staff at? Winter's Breath. Nope, can't! That is interesting! But I'm not going to equip that ability yet. <clears throat> or equip that sword. I'm actually going to change it out for something else. Let's keep my Winter's Breath for now. Not with that. Although... Huh. I have this idea. This will be my uh, Arcane Warrior stat. Okay. I've been meaning to do this uh, for a while with him, so... That's like I can finally uh, find, out how, or find, find a place to do it. Uh, no. Okay. Over. Advanced. Triangle. So now I can switch between whatever I need to. I'll, uh, properly spec that out later. <clears throat> awesome! So I can now actually equip armor as well. Straight up armor. That is freaking awesome. So next day, uh, you'll probably see Sobe just straight up armor. You know, full-on night mode. That's awesome. I love that. I didn't expect that I'd be able to substitute magic for uh, uh, strength in terms of armor now. That caught me off guard. Here's all of you. Get him, boys. 
I will uh, look online though for other Arcane Warrior gear. See if there's any armor sets or other weapons that I can get. Be awesome, that's for sure. Knew it would be easy. Morgan leveled up too. Level up. Let's give her spewed here so I can start resurrecting people. Revival's second tier. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna start working on that. At least I'll get revival. <clears throat> Alrighty then. These things can have unusual powers. Be wary. Hey buddies. Fuck all of you. Shadow you. What the hell am I? I am here. Okay. So down here would be yeah, this room. Okay, I remember this room. Glass phylactery. Take the vial. Chatters. You fight a revenant again. Dick waffle. I right, guys get him. Right, what does that sustained bone spell do again? Uh, it's trading fatigue for an attack bonus and the ability to use spell power to determine combat damage. Or my okay. So. Increased fatigue for an attack bonus and the ability to use spell power. So, if I'm reading this correctly, if I have massive armor equipped to uh, Sobi, and that gives him a lot of fatigue, it will give me an attack bonus as well. It will also give me an extra bonus based on my spell power. That's interesting. Right now, uh, he has no fatigue, so it's kind of pointless to you. And all my character have minimal fatigue as well because, well, Shale doesn't get fatigue because of her armor. And Zevron, well, he has light armor, so. Not really fatigue there either. So we're gonna not worry about that. There we go. Come on. Frozen! Oh yeah, damn. <laughs> Just as the fucker's about to attack. Come on, damn dude. While this is going on, I'm gonna look up the uh Arcane Warrior thing I mentioned earlier. May have caused a little uh glitching and I apologize. There's only one Arcane Warrior specialization specific item in the game, the spell we would currently have equipped. Uh, see here. Equipment, part one. For uh, melee close combat and tanking, equip armor sets with fatigue, with uh, negative fatigue. Equipment and or weapons with stamina willpower, basically just increase your magic as well. Uh, for ca uh, casting useless, or for casting unless heavy, wearing heavy armor in which you can invest fatigue as well. A uh, bunch of magic stuff. Any further equipment gear customized to your playstyle. Uh, let's see here. It's, full, it's possible to fully counter the severe mana cost of Shimmering Shield. Grants you a 100% uptime of the massive bonus, for example. You use weights for your Dragobones, Andrew's Blessing, yada yada. Interesting. 
Uh, equipment that grant bonuses to stamina also grant the same amount of bonus to mana, even though descriptions never say so. Okay, cool. Good to know. So basically, anything that increases uh, stamina will increase my magic pool as well, which is... that's just insane. Watch, next time we'll be decked out in just full heavy armor. Hello, I'm here to kill people. Fuck! That's kind of a nice magic. Cool myself down quickly. Heal. Ah, right, come on. Dead. That's a pressure plate. Don't want to deal with that. Damn, I actually got that guy far off. And there goes everyone already. Damn it. Shattered. Heal. Round. Reducing Shatter's ass. Hopefully. Nope. I did it for you anyway. Oh, come on. There is no glory in bloodshed. Whoops. Sorry, it's chill. Didn't mean to petrify you or freeze you. What shell do you think? Boop. There we go. I am ready. Oh, Shemma was dead. When that happened. Heal. Yeah. Alright. Grab that. Let's do a quick save. Um, save over this one. Come on. This leads... here. Leads to here. Hello, bitches. Don't worry, we're almost done with this area. Frozen and shattered. Fuck you, bitches. God damn it. I go to Zerva to heal him. Fuck. I think I may change his uh, heal time. Keep track on that. See if he's actually uh, healing at half or not. All right, we're good. Yeah, for the most part. Nice table. Oh god, not you. Fucking arcane horrors. I hate these bastards. Yeah, he likes to teleport around thanks to these uh, pads on the ground. Ready to go, ready to go. Fuck every last one of you. Focus on him, because he, he's the most deadly of all this entire group. Okay, maybe not. Damn! Back off my shit! Come on, just, 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 just... Let me cut you around for a second so I can do this. Ow! Fuck, hit me! Heal. Unaba! You! You heal. Thank you for killing the arcane war or horror for me while I was uh, incapacitating these fuckheads that decided to attack me instead of the giant stone golem and the uh, <laughs> rogue killing the other people. Hmm, good stuff. 
God damn. The other, another piece of the uh, ancient elven armor should be around here somewhere. He's done. What would you like? I wonder if you have to be an elf to equip it, or can I can so be equip it? No, you can equip it. Sweet. I can actually equip the juggernaut shit. Oh god. Yes. I'm not gonna keep the helmet on. Fuck like that. That's right. My uh. Set is just insanely high right now. My mana. It shouldn't surprise me too much that I can equip it. <laughs> it looks so weird. I love it. And it's double armor. Let's see here. What does it look like? It's actually not that bad. I think I may equip it to uh, Sobi. It looks pretty nice. For now, I'm gonna keep this equipped because it is a massive. Does give me fatigue, and I can use my uh, um, magic with it. Arm, boots. Here we go. Anything higher than 120. I'll do. Hey. I've got such a badass shit. I knew it would be easy. Actually, I actually think this gives me a resistance against um spells. It does. Let me equip that helmet then. Nah, it doesn't give me much for that. Okay. Uh, let's switch over to this real quickly. Let's actually, um, give it some abilities. Like, let's assign this to... Square... Uh... No. That. That. Um... What's my circle? Fist. Damn it. Alright. Sign, circle. Sign, circle. There we go. Now I can do this. Yes. Alright. Of course, one of those is a flat tree around here somewhere. Oh well. Which means I don't need this so much anymore. Let's see how much uh, mana I have when uh, at full with this. So that's my max mana with both these spells active. Yeah, let's test it out. See how it goes. <laughs> full on fucking plate armor. Oh. Fuck both of you. Let's back up. Yeah, that's straight in my MP. My MP like crazy. No glory in bloodshed. So, let's un uh, un uh, <laughs> uncast that. Still doing my mana like crazy, just because it's, it's uh, plate armor with fatigue. All right, thanks for the quartz. Use that later for something. I don't know. Uh, soldier corpse. Yep. Let's do a quick save before we jump down the hole of death. Went from a freaking robe to full plate in just uh, just one uh, level. Shit. People are gonna be so confused if the next set they didn't see this one. All of a sudden they see a mage wearing plate armor with an, a strength of what? What was it? Twelve? Fourteen? <laughs> oh shit. I'm probably gonna start having him dual wield as well. Nah, knowing him, I'll have him be a uh, sword shield guy.
That's more true to Sobi. Yeah, for those that don't, don't realize yet, I actually do uh, have personalities for each of my characters. Fuck you! This room has the uh, stealth uh, werewolf, by the way. There it is, Shadow Wolf! Get off Sobi! Shit, that was close! Get up, get up, get up! I wanna heal, I wanna heal, I wanna heal! Dead fuck. Alright, fuck you! Heal. Review. God damn. Perhaps we should take the time to review what we've learned. Alright then. No, this one. Okay. Sustained combat magic. God, motherfucker! Stop it! <laughs> what the hell was that? It's like, okay, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. What? Fuck you guys! I was expecting more shadow wolves, yes, but not then. God damn it, dudes! Ow, motherfucker! I think I'm just gonna go straight on wear bear. Or wear bear. Uh, wear a bear on all these fuckers. That way they can't overwhelm me. Fuck all of you! Bring it! Ha! Can't overwhelm me now, no, can you, motherfucker? I'm not really sure what that does. Nah, uh, I'm gonna be, have to be mage. Sorry. I saw it stay, it was like, uh, that's so thriller. Alright, fix that. Is that wrong? I saw a chest for you. Nothing really down the side, so let's ignore that. Fuck these guys! <laughs> <laughs> 